Hello again, Cyclones fans. Everett Fitzhugh back with you for Cyclones TV here on game day. The Cyclones wrapping up morning skate ahead of tonight's tilt with the Fort Wayne Comets. Cincinnati has hit a bit of a speed bump here in recent games, dropping four in a row. And while it may sound cliche, the number one thing they feel they need to do to bust out of this slump is keep things simple and get back to the basics. You know, we haven't put together uh you know, a full game, and I mean, I, I guess that kind of goes without saying. If you're not going to win many games if you don't do that. But we've been, uh, you know, we've been playing well in parts of games. But I think at uh, some important times, we've been kind of, you know, not at our best, and, it, and it's cost us. And uh, you know, a couple of those games, we were right into it, and we had some uh, mental breakdowns or just, uh, you know, plays that we don't normally make that we're not accustomed to making when we were playing well. And uh, it's uh, right now, it's coming back to haunt us. And uh, I think it's one of those things we're going to go through throughout the year. We were uh, pretty high before. We were winning a lot of games, and uh, now we're, uh, you know, hit a bit of a speed bump. But I think we got the guys in here to, to get over it and get on the roll again. You know, when we were playing shorthanded there, we were uh, we were keeping the game simple. We were we were chipping pucks. We weren't, uh, you know, making uh, cute plays. We were just, uh, you know, playing the right way. And I think uh, sometimes you get guys back in the lineup, you kind of get away from that. And uh, I think it's important to get back to it. And uh, you know, I think that's our bread and butter, and it's what's going to win us games. Oh, a lot of us get away from our game. I think we've been so successful earlier. Uh, everybody was buying in and, you know, playing a hard-nosed, gritty game, and I think we sort of got away from that a little bit, maybe a little bit too confident. Uh, the key is we had a couple of good days of practice lately this week, which we haven't had practice in forever. So uh, we sort of hit the reset button and uh, give her a go tonight. Well, obviously a different lineup changes. A little bit of uh, chemistry that we had during this, earlier in the season uh, isn't there right now. Obviously introducing new guys, either from call-ups or coming back for injuries. Uh, it's always tough to find that chemistry right away. But, uh, you know, we're making good strides uh, this week in practice. Uh, that's another thing we didn't have. We didn't have a good hard practice for about three weeks there. So it was good to get a couple practices in and get some uh, more chemistry. You know, especially with a heavy schedule like we've had going into this Christmas run here. Uh, we had some success early in the year. You know, we had a five-game run there. Uh, obviously, we've hit a bit of a blip here in the last week or so. But, uh, you know, everything goes through the highs and lows during the season. And it's just how we respond tonight. The Cyclones have been getting big pieces back in their lineup in recent games. Tonight sees the return of defenseman Arvin Atwal fresh off of his AHL call-up. We learned what I have to do to be their full-time guy, and it was great for the experience. Is one of my goals coming into the season was get that call-up. So now that's, you know, happy that it happened. So now I have to work hard and hopefully get another one. You know, the days I got going, I was in week number two. He started learning that. Everyone's the same, everyone works hard. Just how everyone carries themselves on and off the ice and how they really take care of their bodies. So, you know, as week two got going, I started getting more comfortable and the lungs started getting a bit better. You know, but like you said, the confidence was there and I started to believe I could hang in with these guys and that's all you could really ask for. We can get some physical edge that we're missing right now on the back end. Uh, obviously he's familiar playing with nodes there before. So, um, you know, and he knows our system from earlier in the year and also from last year. So he's going to be a good addition to our blue line. Yeah, I think it's going to be a battle. I mean, the first uh, first couple games have been with them and, uh, you know, they're a good, well-rounded team. They have uh, offense. They play the game hard too. So, uh, you know, we expect them to be at their best. I think they're, they've won five in a row now. So uh, we're... Uh, you know, kind of, kind of struggling a bit, and they're they're playing well, so it's going to be a big test for us. But uh, you know, I think we're ready. Well, one thing they come at you hard. Uh, their four checks, one of the best ones in the league, and our defense have to be ready for that. We're going to have to get a hold up through the neutral zone, obviously, and uh, you know, to get some timely scoring. And uh, you know, we beat them twice in their building already. We know they're going to come after us hard tonight. Uh, they're feeling good about themselves, but you know, every game is different, and uh, we have to be ready to be ready for the drop of the puck.